patterns are a great way of adding visual interest to your designs, and it's really easy to create your own patterns in Autodesk Graphic. I want to add a little bit of visual interest to this header on this document here. And I think a pattern would be a great way to do it. You can create a pattern with anything you have selected in Autodesk Graphic. So I'm going to draw out some triangles here. Just keep it very, very simple. And I'm going to use my Option key to drag a duplicate out. And then I'm going to flip that one vertically. I'm going to select both of those, drag another duplicate, and flip those vertically again. And then just drag them out so they're kind of in between those other two. Then I'm going to select everything, go to my Arrange, Distribute Horizontally. Now you can do whatever kind of shapes you want. With these four triangles selected, I'm going to go to my color fill options here and choose the third tab which is pattern. You see here we've got some built-in patterns already for us to use in our designs. And we have a little button right down here with a plus sign. You see when I hover over it, it highlights in blue. And when I click that, it will add whatever I have selected as a new pattern that I can use to fill any shape I want. So I'm going to click that and you can see it's added our pattern right there. There's our triangles. Now I can get rid of these triangles that I had and I'm going to select my rectangle shape here that's just being filled currently with a solid color. Another really powerful thing about graphic is the ability to have multiple fills. So with this one shape, I'm going to add a new fill. And this fill is not going to be a solid color. I'm going to click on that swatch here and I'm going to choose pattern and we're going to select our brand new pattern. Now you see it fills that shape with the pattern that we just created and it's all being contained inside of this shape. If I double click, I can choose how this is positioned inside of this shape. And if I unfold my fill options for my pattern, you see that we have options that are specifically for the pattern here. I can change the angle, I can change the scale, and I can change the opacity. Something like this is what I was imagining. So now we have got a header for this party with a lot more visual interest. This also works with seamless textures. So if you have some seamless textures already or find some online, there's many resources to find free seamless textures. Or if you know how to make these in a pixel-based program, you can certainly do that and bring them into Autodesk Graphic and use those as pattern fills as well. So this image I have selected is just a JPEG that I dragged into this document in graphic. With the photo selected, I'll go to my pattern tab. I'll hit the plus button and you can see it's added it right there once again to our pattern fill options. Now I'm going to draw out a new rectangle, go back to my pattern fill and choose that concrete looking texture. And now I can resize my shape and you can see it automatically fills this shape no matter how I change its size or shape with that seamless texture. If I unfold my fill options, I get the same features to tweak how this is being filled. Also, if I double click, I can reposition which part of the photo is filling my shape. Now I can place some text that I had prepared and just drag and drop it right on top. Now you know how you can create your own patterns using Autodesk Graphic. Thanks for watching.